It's exactly where it's happened as well. Um, from our understanding, from our people who were there and we're talking to them, the it was a suicide bomb attack in a canal way, which um, featured in, in our reports for the last few days, where thousands and thousands of people have been waiting to have their applications heard. We believe that um, a suicide bomber blew himself up in the canal um, this is overlooked by a number of um, American, British and uh, multinational forces who are trying to find people that were being processed, to be processed. Um, we are not certain on the number of casualties. We have to assume uh, a number of civilians. But uh, initial reports suggest to us that uh, American soldiers, not British soldiers, but American soldiers have been injured. We've heard of fatalities, but we haven't been able to confirm that at this stage. This was uh, predicted by a number of sources, uh, obviously including the governments, for a while. And to us working there, it was so very clearly a, a dangerous place to be because of the numbers of people coming through, the fact that there are no real checks on what people are carrying or wearing to get through into this canal area. Um, and that there was always a potential for uh, an attack of some description. Um, to just give it some context, so this is not inside the airport proper. It is on the perimeter wall of the airport, and it's one road that leads to the processing area, which is initially set up by the British um, with the British military, which is a protected area, and there are lots of paratroopers there. They would also have been on duty in that area as well, but slightly further down the road from where we think the explosion took place. But So this is um, a, a choke point, if you like, where there are huge numbers of people coming through from two directions, one that leads directly to the British position and one that comes more to what we've always described as the American position. And that is a canal. It's a sewage canal, effectively. It's awful. And people have been waiting there for days and days to try and get their cases heard. The explosion, we believe, took place in that canal and that there will definitely have been civilian casualties because they would have been right next to whoever uh, blew themselves up. Um, we're still sort of waiting for more details, but, you know, I can confirm, the Pentagon has, but we know that the, the general location is probably a 50 to 100 metres long stretch that must at one stage have had, I mean, thousands of people in it. It has thinned out over the last couple of days or so, so hopefully it's not as bad as it could have been because it would have been absolute carnage. But um, it, the, the target would always have been not the people per se, but the, the soldiers. And, of course, they are in amongst the crowd trying to break, pull them out um, of the canal and um, look at their paperwork. Um, it, as I said, it had been predicted. So what effect does this have on the withdrawal? And I think that's really the important point here is that this deadline that was set was always going to be earlier in terms of actually people being processed. But um, it, it, to me, my expectation now is that the forces will probably say this is too dangerous and that might be the end of this evacuation effort because given the security issue, they, they can't continue doing the job they're doing in the way they're doing it because it is so insecure by definition. So that, must, you know, this event might be the end of the airlift.